In this video, I'm going to show you how to style a HTML table and send that table as a part of an email. Now, by default, when you use Power Automate to send an email using the by default available HTML control, uh, then uh, a table which gets sent out is not in a nicely formatted fashion. So the goal is basically to style the table and then uh, make use of a bit of CSS to style the table. So um, I'll just sh show you an example. Like say, take for example, uh, I have this table called as Commonwealth Nations. Now there, there are a couple of columns like com ID, Commonwealth Nations and created on. So if I want to send this to different users, okay, uh, in my organization, so how will I do that? So first thing, what I'm gonna do, I'll go to Power Automate and then I'll click on create and then I'll uh, make it an instant flow, okay? So I'll just call this as send country details and I'll click on manually trigger a flow. Now here, what I'm doing is I'll be clicking on uh, manually triggering a flow. So here in this interface, uh, first thing, what I'm gonna do, I'll be going into add an action and then I'll go to dataverse and I'll select list rows. So basically, listing the rows so i'll click on list rows and i'll point to the commonwealth table commonwealth nations and uh the column which i want uh to be rendered uh, i will just put it in a different control so that's it so commonwealth nation listing the rows and then from here what i'm going to use is i'll use something called as a compose action in data operations you will see there's a lot of options over here i'll click on create html table now in create html table i will take the input from the list rows body slash value and then from here i have an option to show whether the columns are automatic or manual or uh, i'll say it is custom basically and then i will start adding the values now from here, uh, as you see, uh, I have this three different columns like com ID, Commonwealth Nations and created on. So I'll start adding those. So I'll say this is com ID and then another one is uh, country and created on. So I'll just name it as country and created date. Now here in com id i will select the column which is com id id and the country is commonwealth nations so commonwealth nations that's not a unique identifier but uh, a con commonwealth nations and created date is date of creation so created on so this is how you basically style the uh, create an html table and in order to send that table, what I'm gonna do, I'll add an action, send email, send an email v2, I'm gonna send it to myself. And later on, once I'm satisfied, I'll send it to my whole staff. So list of common wealth nations. Oh, I'm not gonna put anything fancy over here. I'll just say here is the table. And the HTML table which we just created. So the output of the HTML table. So I'll click on save. And once it is saved, I'll start testing it. So it says action list rows has does not have a select query or filter query or top parameter. Uh, I'll say that's fine for me as of now. So it's always better to put uh, a select column values or a filter column so that uh, you can uh, just limit the record of uh, the record which gets populated from the api so i'll just test this and i'll sign in to the office 365 outlook connector and i'll run a flow once this flow runs i should be able to receive an email with an html table This says your flow has run successfully. 
so i have got an email which says list of commonwealth nation and here is the table so this is the by default look of the table but what if i want to make it look a bit stylish you know uh, this is a raw information this is a table which is not correctly formatted but if i want information to be formatted then i may need to uh, use uh, make use of html uh, css styling now in order to do that there are a couple of things uh you can go to w3 schools and if you go to w3 schools and look for css tables you can take this look over here of this table this looks pretty nice if you go to try it yourself then you can see the style which you see over here you can copy the style okay so one one way is this second is uh that is a site called as divtable.com so if you go to divtable.com and if you go to styler uh, over here you can actually design your table you can design the style name you can design the font border background cell padding text width height uh, header footer you can design your table accordingly uh, or maybe you can pick from the template now i have selected this template now, once you select this template, it will show you how to use an HTML table and you get the CSS over here. So you just copy the CSS, you just take, you can just copy the CSS and then you can use that in your uh, application, right? Uh, so this is how you basically uh, use that uh, HTML table uh, CSS. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'll be uh, making use of w3 css okay w3 school css now here uh, if you see the css just copy the style component okay so i'll just copy this in in notepad now here i'm gonna paste this okay now instead of uh hash customers as you see over here because that's the class uh which they have used uh, so what we can do is uh, basically we can uh, use it uh, uh, as a hard-coded uh, table element but depending on your requirement you can make that changes accordingly uh, so wherever you find hash customer just replace it with table so i'll say replace all and then this will be replaced with the table so i have this css formatted now now what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this css and go into my power automate i'll click on edit and uh, here like i have add an i'll add an action compose action and then i'll name this action as say style so this is the style which i'm using input i'll just paste this entire html uh entire css now as you see over here we have replaced the uh, we have hard coding the the html component as a part of the css implementation so we are using the table uh, element table tag uh, so that's it okay and once you are done with it go to your email and then here in the email let's use that style output okay you can place it anywhere so i've just kept it over here I'll click on save and then once you click on save again it will throw out some warnings of dataverse list rows that's fine uh, because this is just like a demo example uh, and once you're done with this click on test test manually click on test and run the flow and once you run the flow uh, you should be able to see an, another email with a nicely formatted content now as you see over here this is a nicely formatted content so and and it has got this kind of a bit of animation as well so if you hover your mouse over here uh, you'll be able to see this nice interface so this is way way much better than uh, using the by default table okay so next time when you use table uh, using power automate uh, make sure that you use a uh, styling uh, not necessarily related to w3 schools but then they have got a nice design over here uh, but you can anyways go and use div table and customize your table as per your need and then copy the css uh, content now make sure that you format your css in such a way that uh, the table element gets properly uh, 
uh, rendered using the CSS. So what, what I've done, like in W3 schools, I've copied the CSS, but then I've replaced this uh, hash customers because hash customer is basically an, like it's an ID, you know, for a table. Now, instead of using that, what I've done is I have uh, hard coded it over here. Right, so I've removed hash customers and then I've replaced it with tables. So that's it, folks. This is how you basically use uh, CSS styling within Power Automate to uh, nicely format your uh, HTML table uh, generated uh, using Dataverse Action. Thanks for watching.